Hey, God bless you, brothers and sisters, and anybody seeing this video, God bless you. Um, there's a <clears throat> couple things I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share um, a word that the Holy Spirit led me to for those who truly seek and and follow the Lord, uh, a reminder, an uplifting reminder, and something that can really build up um, our faith and and when we remember these scriptures when times get hard it encourages us and helps us to press forward and in the hope that we would um, hold his word and the lord's word and his promises above what we're experiencing and feeling um, we're going to need to do that those who are going to be true overcomers they're going to know this and practice this um, and then after that, I want to, it's going to be a quick video, but I want to talk to everybody about the collective conscious and what that actually means and how it is used and how powerful it is and what the Antichrist or the son of perdition, when it's talking about uh, like here in Daniel 8 uh, verses 25 through his craft um. And by his hand, he will cause deceit to prosper. So I'm going to show, I'm going to, I'm going to share with people what this actually means, what it looks like, um, or one of the ways that it looks. Um, but let's go into this first, because this is really good to remember. But it says, then Peter began to say unto him, lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said verily i say unto you there is no man that hath left his house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels but he shall receive a hundredfold now listen to this brothers and sisters a lot the way that you've understood this or the way that people maybe have taught you because i'm sure you've heard this scripture you might not have had a more uh, broader understanding, but I want you to pay attention to this part, right? But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Now in this time. Houses and brethren, sisters, mothers and children and lands with persecutions. And in the world to come eternal life but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first now brothers and sisters right here right when it gets into verse 30 and it says now in this time brothers and sisters the saints the true children of god they are going to rule and reign with christ on earth they are going to inherit the promises that the Lord gave our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And, um, and so it's saying that you are going to be repaid. The things that we have to give up right now, brothers and sisters, um, we will be, th those things will be restored to, and we will have them many times. They will be restored to us many times over in the millennial rule and reign of Christ, right? But right now we have to be willing to forsake these things. And when you follow God, when you follow the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, with all your heart, mind, and strength, you, these things will happen to you. You will lose these things. But I want to say, brothers and sisters, that it is worth it. But if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to do that, then, um, you know, this, this, is for, this is for the true children of God that are going to rule and reign with Christ, okay? And they, the, the, the kingdom of Christ is going to rule and reign on earth soon, right? And, but for right now, for this next few short years, brothers and sisters, we are going to have um, the ruling and reigning of the kingdom of darkness. And that is what is happening. Brothers and sisters, even our own people, um, the Lord led me to a scripture in Ezekiel. Um, and it was talking about, um, he was telling me to see all the abominations that 
his people. He was talking about, he's referring to Israel in this scripture. And he said, look at the abominations that they're doing. And what is happening, brothers and sisters, is just recently is people, even self-proclaimed believers, followers in Jesus Christ, okay? Those who are not sealed, who are not truly God's true children, they have been, people have been handed over Okay, they've been handed over to their own hearts, desires, the, their, their, their own bellies, their own way of thinking, right? They've been handed over to different things. And because now that has happened, right, and the spirit of God, God's grace is, um, he's, it, it, they, they have been completely handed over to those spirits, Um what they're doing now is they're going to be doing more and more and more evils and they're going to be filling the earth up with with um abominations and as the earth fills up with more and more transgressions and abominations it's going to create a climate of evil and wickedness and the wickedness and evil is going to get worse and worse and worse and we're going to go this country this world is going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into judgment and soon the son of perdition is going to be here the restrainer will soon be removed and the son of perdition will take his seat and his authority for his short period of time okay and what i was talking about about the collective conscious is it says he will destroy the mighty men along with the holy people like the the son of perdition is even going to kill um He's going to kill many, many people, especially when the restrainer is removed, brothers and sisters, and anybody seeing this video, when the restrainer is removed, this whole world, our whole realm is going to change, and it is going to be drastically different, and the son of, there's, there's literally going to be camps, and um, there are going to be camps where people are going to be gathered up and and many of them destroyed without any interference from our um without any interference from from god or any because it's a judgment because pe people have made their decision they ha and and when i say things like that brothers and sisters a lot of people they don't want to hear it and if there's people if that is you or when you see people that don't want to hear those things because these things are true when they don't want to hear those things, that means that they don't love the truth. They don't love the truth. And that's why it says in the word of God, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. But when I was talking about the collective conscious, and, and this is soon going to happen, brothers and sisters, it's not very long, far away. It's soon. Um. But when it says through his through his craft and by his hand, he will cause deceit to prosper. Brothers and sisters, what the enemy does is he uses people's mind. There's there's something called the collective conscious. And, and I want to give you an example. OK, say you put some information out. OK, you put some information out on YouTube or the uh, or the media or in a movie anywhere where massive amounts of people see that information. OK, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be true at that moment. If you get people to see it and either be afraid of it, love it, hate it, embrace it, what happens is they're empowering it and they can bring it into reality. When people click, okay, say for instance, brothers and sisters, um, you know, say the whole Walmart thing, um, the Walmart uh, death camp, you know, the, the elites using uh, setting up Walmarts for the end time destruction, okay? Say, for example, 
that if that information that was put out years ago, those those things that really aren't in the Bible, but the information was put out after so many years of so many people believing it and agreeing with it, clicking on those videos, talking about they actually manifest that thing and to be it for the enemy to be able to bring it into the realm. Because, OK, say, for instance, brothers and sisters, when you get together with believers and you say hallelujah or you pr start praising the lord together with your brothers and sisters it manifests a spirit and offering unto the lord and a spirit of thanksgiving unto him this is one of the ways that the people of god worship um worship the almighty god the father son and holy spirit but it also works the same for evil uh for bad things okay the enemy has put information out okay and it and it was some of it was not even necessarily true but because people thought it was true millions and millions of people have watched it uh clicked on it believed it talked about it what they've did is they've created a power the catalyst for it to be brought into the physical realm for it to be made manifest and this is why the lord says to guard your heart and don't look at the everything that we need to know is in the word of god brothers and sisters anyway i'll talk about this um in another video um but uh, I love you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ.